got him, Epic. You got it. That's a good one. That's a good one. What a beauty. Unbelievable. <laughs> Two seconds after the chain. Let him run. That's Show time. <laughs> Look at that thing. Get a dead end. You can just hit a goat. <laughs> Steelhead. You know, couldn't have picked a better place on earth to, uh, to be. Um, trout fishing uh, USA right here in the southwest part of Montana. On this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, we join Greg Smith of Four Rivers Fishing Company out of Twin Bridges, Montana. It can be a hit and miss adventure. The water needs to be right and the fish have to be willing, but we were lucky on both counts. Starting to change colors just a little bit as we head into September. In our fly tying segment, we join renowned tire Davey Watt for the first in a series of lessons on tying techniques. For our instructional segment, Kelly Gallup returns to talk streamers. Kelly is an expert on throwing the big bug, as he calls it, and his books, oh, videos, and stood. innovative fly patterns have revolutionized this method of fly fishing. Well, while you guys were playing, I thought I saw a fish there, so I threw at him. Guess what? It was. On this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, we joined Todd Kalitri, general manager and head guide of the nice Alaska fish, Sportsman's yeah. Lodge. Oh, He's in man. charge of introducing Kelly to the fishery and Alaska, since Kelly's never been here before. Second cast. In our tying segment, we join renowned tire Davey Watt for tips on tying tails. This week's instructional features Kelly again, this time with a great demonstration on how to fish streamers in pocket water. Some might think it's just a big water technique, but Kelly shows us ways to fish small water with big flies. Yeah, today I'm throwing uh throwing a pop bar, trying to get a top water bite. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times the Kentuckys will sit in these areas that are real rocky like this that has deep water close by. Mm -hmm. so on this, this edition morning, of Fly Fish like TV a with a Kelly Gallup, we joined Brad Wiegman on Beaver Lake, just outside brush, Springdale, cow, Arkansas. Cool. Brad and Kelly are squaring off, side. gear guy versus fly guy. Our dynamic duo will be hunting spotted or Kentucky bass. They're not big, but they are unique and challenging. Along the way, we'll see if it's the flies or lures that wins the day. If you look inside his mouth, look, see that? That's a crawdad inside there. First of all, it makes the fibers twist together easily, but secondly, you make sure there's no ugly bumps or, you know, messed up material in there. In our fly tying segment, we get a lesson in dubbing hair fur bodies Davey Watton has the demonstration in this excerpt from Wet Fly Time, a Fly Fish TV instructional video. You can manipulate it, you've always got control of the fly. In this week's instructional, Kelly is back to deliver us some pointers on fishing big streamers. On this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, we join Todd Gregory on the Caney Fork River system in southeastern Tennessee to fish muskie. It's late fall, and the colors are glorious, as are Very the musky. Good. Okay, come on, boy. Man, he's really, he just clobbered this thing. Man. In our fly tying okay. segment, we so get a lesson on tying peacock curl bodies from expert tire Davey Watt. With this style of fly, you're gonna use a longer leader, and you're gonna let the fly sink on its own. In this week's instructional, Kelly returns with tactics for fishing streamers. This is his favorite technique, and he has plenty of tips on how to help you become a better streamer fisherman. Fish juggling, where'd he go? Cuddy, you should have seen the brownie hat eat up there. On this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, we join Parker Stenerson to spay fish for steelhead on the Salmon River in Idaho. Parker, just 12, already has pro staff status with St. Croix Rod and does sports shows, spay demonstrations. His dawning task is to teach Kelly some basic spay casting skills. Since John Stenerson, Parker's dad, grew up in nearby Salmon, Idaho, we decided he might be a good guy to have along as well. If you wind, only wish to wind a spar hackle, take one, one and a half turns. If you want a heavier hackle wind, then continue with the turns. In our fly tying segment, winding hackle is the subject and Davey Watton, our instructor. You've got to do it all. 
dry line tactics for streamer fishing is the subject of this week's instructional segment with Kelly. He details important things to keep in mind when using this technique. Spring jumps in right down here by this On this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, we join Larry Larson on the Snake River in Idaho, not far from his home in Pocatello. Larry and Kelly are fishing trophy bows and cut bows that have come up river from a reservoir in search of cooler water. There you go, Fatty, how'd you like that? In our fly tying segment, Davey Watt provides us proper methods for palmering hackle. In this excerpt from Wet Fly Tying, a Fly Fish TV instructional video, you get a close look at how an expert really does it. Big stem. You know what? Just get your finger out like that and just make a little print there. In this week's instructional, Kelly is back. This time to show us how he jigs streamers with a weighted line. Streamers are his specialty, and his tips can really help you catch more you fish. You watch that line right where it goes in. If you're picking up and you get an eat, you'll be golden. From here? Yeah, this will be perfect. On this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, we join Todd Kalitri on a remote stream in the heart of Alaska's Katmai Peninsula. We fish for silver salmon that have just moved in from the ocean and wait in pods before moving upstream to spawn. Now there's another option so far as tying uh, this particular feather fiber in. In our fly tying segment, expert tyer Davey Watt has another great lesson, this time on tying pheasant tail wings in this excerpt from What Fly Tying, Fly Fish TV instructional video. They've got the fast hind end, the butt section is fast. That's critical on these rods. In this week's instructional, Kelly returns to talk about the new rods and lines he's developed specifically for casting and fishing streamers. On this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, we join Mac Brown to fish browns and bows on the Nantahala River in western North Carolina. On the left, this eddy up here might be good, below the bridge pylon. Mac is a fly fishing guide, instructor, and author of a highly regarded book, Casting Angles. Good on that thing. There it is. That's what we've got here. Right, and then here's the critical thing about doing this. You can see that this bead is sliding and the top wire's on the top, bottom wire's on the bottom. In our fly tying segment, Kelly returns to show us how he articulates all his streamer patterns as he works on his favorite fly, the peanut envy. And what's nice about the, the floating line and the popper, oh, there we go, nice bass. In our instructional segment, we have a lesson on fishing pre-spawn smallmouth bass from Joe Warren. We catch up with Joe on the riprap banks of the Columbia River in Washington. Pre-spawn fish here. Mm -hmm. On this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, we join Larry Mann of the Hayward Fly Fishing Company to fish muskie on two of northern Wisconsin's most famous rivers. We hit both the Chippewa and the Flambeau in our efforts to boat a respectable fish. It wouldn't be easy or quick, but Kelly and Larry would get the job done. He's in. You good? Yes. Nice job. In our fly tying segment, Kelly heads to the fly shop to learn about Larry's knot for putting together a leader. As you'll discover, it's a beauty. A slim beauty. Hmm. It's much easier than I thought. Oh, that was a nice fish. Beauty. Oh, man. In our instructional segment, Joel Warren takes us out for some topwater popper action for smallmouth bass on a bay off of Washington's Columbia River. That's good, probably close to three pounds, I'd say. On this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, we join Brad Wiegman on Beaver Lake in northwestern Arkansas. High in the Ozark Mountains, Kelly and Brad compare conventional fly tactics and gear for going after largemouth. In our fly tying segment, Kelly shows us some of his techniques for tying his fathead streamer. This articulated pattern works great as a shad imitation for bass, but was designed to catch big trout. This is one of my favorite sizes. I know people that fish these up to seven inches long. I do this one in one size bigger most commonly, but this has just been a great little bug for us. I'll get a shot of this here while we're in our instructional, our boys are back to put side by side some of their top lures and flies for flipping and casting the bass. Sections silver and gray, tops blue. 
On this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, we join Jeff Fender to fish rainbows on the Battle River in Alaska. It is as special a place as there is in the angling world. Native rainbows are here to feed behind the spawning sockeye salmon, and Kelly and Jeff move amongst the bears, searching for likely suspects. In our fly tying segment, Kelly talks to another Alaskan Sportsman's Lodge guy, Todd Kalitri, about the details of the beads used to fish Alaskan rainbows. So, as you can see, there's a few extra beads in the world of Alaska. In our instructional segment, we jump to the Quijack River, where Kelly and Todd finish up on talking beads and concentrate a bit on bows. All this coming right up on Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup. Oh, almost knocked him off. On so this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, mm -hmm. we join Rob Crandall, the Watertime Outfitters, to fish for steelhead on Oregon's Deschutes River. This show is about swinging flies for steelhead, and Rob is an expert on the subject. Yeah, definitely give him that line. Okay. In our fly tying segment, Rob the, shows us his favorite swinging flies for the Deschutes. Uh, single hook style. I think you, you have fewer problems with hookups. And joins Kelly to look at two different rigs for steelheading. Do two different styles. I'm gonna rig up with a nymph rig. Robbie's gonna go with another bug and a swing. In the instructional portion of the show, Kelly briefly gives his nymphing rig a whirl and Rob shows us why it's called the right. closer hole. That's a nice fish. Look at that guy. <laughs> On this edition of Fly Fish TV with Kelly Gallup, we join Gary and Wanda Taylor for a quick lesson on how to get started fly fishing. The experienced angler won't learn much here except perhaps how quick and easy it is to introduce someone to our sport. Coming up, we'll look at the basic fly gear and rigging, see how to start casting, see how to start actually fishing, and learn some of the basics of getting the fly to drift properly. Fire up your recording device of choice if you have someone you think might have an interest in starting to fly fish. This is the most simple cast there is.